Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about greatest common factor. So, how do we find the greatest common factor or GCF of two or more numbers? So, let's have first the concept about factors. So, we know that the factors of a particular number are the numbers that when we multiply together will produce that number. So, for example, let's say we have the number 24. So, the factors of 24 can be 1 and 24 since 1 times 24 is 24. What else? Can also be 2 and 12 since 2 times 12 is 24, right? What else? Can also be 3 and 8 since 3 times 8 is 24. Lastly, it can also be 4 and 6 since 4 times 6 is 24. So therefore, the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Okay? Likewise, let's try to find also the factors of 36. So 1 and 36 are factors of 36 because 1 times 36 is 36, right? What else? 2 and 18 are also factors since 2 times 18 is 36. 3 and 12 are also factors since 3 times 12 is 36, 4 and 9 are also factors since 4 times 9 is 36. And lastly, 6 multiplied by itself, so 6 times 6 is also a factor since the product produces 36. Okay? So therefore, the factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. Okay? Now, what if we try to find the greatest common factor or GCF of 24 and 36. So since we have listed all the factors of 24 and 36, it will be easier for us to find their greatest common factor. Why? Because from the word itself, GCF, we must only choose the greatest common factor that we see for the two numbers. So obviously they have different common factors, right? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, that's it, right? So among these common factors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, which is the greatest? Obviously, it is 12, right? So therefore, it is the greatest common factor or GCF of 24 and 36. So therefore, the GCF is 12. Okay? So now, instead of listing all of the factors of two or more numbers to find the greatest common factor, I will teach you the general method of finding the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. So in this method, we're gonna use the concept of prime factorization. So by the way, I already have a previous video about prime factorization. So if you haven't watched that yet, I will just put the link of the video on the description so you can check it first since we're gonna use that in finding the greatest common factor of two or more numbers, okay? So to illustrate the general method of finding the GCF of two or more numbers, let's solve some examples. So for the first one, we have find the GCF of 360 and 84. So the first step is to find the prime factorization of the two numbers. So let's try to find the prime factorization of 360 first. So the factors of 360 can be 10 times 36, right? Then 10 can still be factored as 2 times 5. So since 2 times 5 are already prime numbers, then we'll leave them as that. But 36 can still be factored as 6 times 6. And the first 6 can still be factored as 3 times 2. So 3 and 2 are both prime numbers already, so we'll leave them as that. And for this other 6, it can also be factored as 3 times 2. And 3 and 2, once again, are already prime numbers. So the prime factorization of 360 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Or in exponential form, we have 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5. Okay? Then, let's also try to find the prime factorization of 84. So 84 can be factored as... 2 times 42. Since 2 is already a prime number, we leave it as that. 42 can still be factored as 6 times 7. So since 7 is already a prime number, then we leave it as is. But 6 can still have factors of 3 and 2, right? And we'll end up here since 3 and 2 are already prime numbers. 
So, therefore, the prime factorization of 84 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. Or in exponential form, we have 2 squared times 3 times 7. Okay? So, what's the next step? So, the next step is, let's try to find in the prime factorization of the two numbers, the common factor that appears. So, obviously, one common factor is 2, right? They are both present in the prime factorization of 360 and 84. Also, 3, right? And there's none anymore. So, let's try to list the common factors. So, the common factors are 2 and 3, right? And then, we have this rule that in finding the greatest common factor of two numbers, we will check the lowest exponent for each common factor in the prime factorization of the two numbers. So, for the 2, we can see that the lowest exponent that appears is 2, right? Since in 84, it's just 2 squared, but in 360, it's 2 cubed. So, the lowest exponent is 2, right? So, for the common factors that we list, we're gonna add the exponent of 2, to the common factor 2. Okay? So let's do the same with the other common factor which is 3. So for 84, the exponent of 3 is just 1. So there's an invisible 1 here, right? And for 360, the exponent of 3 is 2. So obviously, the smallest exponent is 1. So therefore, for the common factors, we'll also put an exponent of 1 for 3. So we have 3 to the first or simply 3, right? Now, to find the actual greatest common factor or GCF, we just need to multiply 2 squared and 3. So, we have 2 squared times 3 or it is equal to 4 times 3 or 12, right? So, therefore, the greatest common factor of 360 and 84 is 12, okay? Next, we have find the GCF of 210, 630, and 1980. Okay, so let's try to find first the prime factorization of each number. So let's start with 210. So the two factors of 210 can be 70 and 3, right? So 3 is already prime, but 70 can still be factored as 7 times 10. So 7 is already prime, but 10 can still be factored as 2 times 5. So since 2 and 5 are already prime, Therefore, the final prime factorization of 210 is 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Okay? Now, for 630, we can have the prime factorization as, so 630 can be factored as 63 times 10. So 10 can still be factored as 2 times 5. So 5 and 2 are already prime. But 63 can still be factored as 7 times 9. So 7 is already prime. 9 can still be factored as 3 times 3. So finally, the last factors, 3 and 3, are already prime. So therefore, the prime factorization of 630 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7. Or in exponential form, it is equal to 2 times 3 squared times 5 times 7. Okay? Now, for 1980, the prime factorization can be, so the two factors for 1980 can be 10 and 198. So, 10 can still be factored as 5 times 2. So, 5 and 2 are already prime. But 198 can still be factored as 66 and 3. Right? So 3 is already a prime number, but 66 can still be factored as 6 times 11. 11 is already a prime number. Lastly, 6 can still be factored as 3 and 2. So 3 and 2 are already prime. So therefore, the prime factorization of 1980 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 11 or in exponential form we have 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 times 11 okay 
So the next step again is to find the common factors that appear on the prime factorization of the three numbers. So obviously, 2 is a common factor in the prime factorization of the three numbers, right? What else? 3 also is a common factor. What else? 5 is a common factor. So 7 is common to 210 and 630 but not in 1980. So therefore, we cannot consider 7 as a common factor to the three numbers. Okay? So for 11, it's unique in 1980 because we don't have a factor of 11 in 210 and 630. So therefore, the only common factors that we have are 2, 3, 5, 5. Okay? Now, applying the rule, we will check the smallest exponent that appears on each prime factorization of the three numbers for these common factors. So, for the 2, we have the smallest exponent as, so for 210, it's simply 2 to the first, 630, it's simply 2 to the first, and 1980, it's 2 squared. So, obviously, the smallest exponent that appears is 1, which are common in 210 and 630. So, in the common factors, we write 2 with exponent of 1. 1. For 3, in 210, the exponent is 1, in 630, the exponent is 2, and 1980, the exponent is 2. So obviously, the smallest exponent is 1, which appears in 210. So in the common factors, we write the exponent of 1 for 3. Lastly, for the exponent of 5, for 210, it is 1, for 630, it is 1, and 1980, it is 1. So obviously, the smallest common exponent that appears in 5 is 1. So we write in common factors an exponent of 1 in 5. Okay? So for the GCF, we just simply multiply these 3. So 2 to the first or 2, times 3 to the first or 3, times 5 to the first or 5, we have 2 times 3 times 5 or 30. So therefore, the GCF of 210, 630, and 1980 is 30. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Greatest Common Factor or GCF. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.